while students and advocates rallied for safer communities and for an end to gun, to gun violence in Harrisburg yesterday. Now many students were from the city of Philadelphia, which has already seen 142 homicides in 2023. Brennan Scanlon reports. Violence, it kind of, it traumatized a lot of kids. Today, 18-year-old high school senior Kiana Nurse and dozens of students from Philadelphia made their voices heard at the Capitol. We feel like we aren't getting as heard as we want to. Listen to your youth, listen to the students. The students know what they want. She says it's hard for adults to relate to the challenges and fears that many youth currently face, not just in Philadelphia, but around the country. Kiana believes every student has the right to feel safe at school, but unfortunately, that's not always the case. That's where people find their peace at, at school. I know that's where I find my peace at is at school. They sometimes have to like look over their shoulder. They're not comfortable. Kids aren't allowed to play on the streets anymore. Like we used to like go to the playgrounds, such go to parties, go to football games, basketball games, because there's always something. Today this rally comes as multiple gun control bills make their way through the House. The four bill package, which recently passed the House Judiciary Committee along party lines, includes safe storage requirements, requiring lost or stolen firearms to be reported within three days, expanded background checks, and extreme risk protection orders, known by some as red flag laws. Many Republicans say these bills don't address the root cause of the issue and that they restrict the rights of law abiding gun owners. They want to see the current law laws enforced before new ones are created.